Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking vintage 1970s cabinet door hinges. We're going to show you where to find them and how to install them. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, at the workstation now. On the left hand side is the 1970s vintage hinge. And it is tough to find these. You have to do a specific search for them. And in our case, the replacement hinge is an Amarok. Here is the part number BP792926. And we purchased the stainless steel or brushed nickel finish. And I want to open up this. We purchased this from Lowe's. And this is what you can actually run into if you just go to Lowe's and purchase what you think is the replacement hinge for those old vintage hinges. Let's go ahead and open these. At this point, the hinges are out of the packaging. Far left is the vintage. In the middle is the hinge I purchased from our local Lowe's. And on the right hand side, this is the hinge that is actually going to fit the old hinge screw holes perfectly. And what I want to focus on is the actual projection from the hinge that we purchased from Lowe's. You'll notice the projection, which is basically from the hinge portion out to the tip of this plate is longer than the center plate that we purchased from Lowe's. So if you actually combine these and you'll match up the screw holes for the exterior hinge that is on the cabinet, you'll notice the screw holes aren't going to match up and that's what you can run into. So you wanna make sure you purchase the hinge that has the proper projection measurement. And what we wanna do is talk about the actual measurements to help you purchase that right hinge. The length is 2.75 inches. I'll pull the packaging. This again is the packaging for the hinge from Lowe's and 2.75 times 1.75 slash 69 nine millimeters. The number you wanna focus on is the last portion here, which is the projection. And in our case, we had to purchase a 7.5 projection, which again, if you match these two up, you will notice the screw holes on the 7.5 projection is farther out and it is a longer plate and matches the vintage plate here. So just keep that in mind when you're doing some research, Below, in the event that you want to purchase the hinges that we purchased, we have a link down below. Definitely check that out. From here, let's head to the kitchen and start our project. All right, DIY is in the kitchen now. And again, there's the part number and we are using our drill. And these are 50 years old and got some rust on them. What we're going to do is just carefully remove these. And chances are, once we remove these hinges, there might be a stain on the back side that we have to clean off because the actual size of the new hinge is slightly shorter or not as tall. However, the screw holes line up perfectly, but again, we are going to remove these and if there is any stain, we are going to clean it off prior to installing and securing the new hinges. They certainly left some stains over the years. I'm using a warm soap and water dipped rag and all I'm going to do is carefully scrub off that stain. Not bad. Now it's time to install the new hinges. What I might do is clean that a little bit more prior to installing the hinge. At this point, just comparing the size differences, again, all the screw holes match up, but the new hinges are slightly shorter. And what we'll do next, again, everything lines up. We'll re-secure the three screws to secure this hinge to the door. And the pack comes with several short screws and a few longer screws. The longer screws are what go on the outside of the hinge and the shorter screws are the screws that secure the inner hinge or flat plate to the inner portion of the door. All right, DIYers, hinges are secured on the door. All we'll do next is reposition the door and align the screw holes and secure the screws. This requires both hands. And again, make sure you align the screws properly and secure them. From here, I'll secure all screws with a regular screwdriver to alleviate stripping those screws. And again, the reason why I'm using a handle screwdriver is to alleviate stripping the screws. You want them snug, but don't over tighten them. They look a lot better, a lot more cleaner and presentable. What we'll do is continue and replace all 28 hinges that we purchased. All right, DIYers, we are all done. All went as planned. Hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.